Yes, so good. Thanks for the family movie before I spoke. Uh, my name is not Carlos, thanks Clay, it is actually Carlos. So do we have some, we got some people from Puerto Rico in the house? Oh, right here. So since, since they're here, I think we could pull that off just a little bit better. Could you just say, what's up, Carlos? Very good, fantastic. For far too long, I thought that it was my role as a Christian to become a Christian and wait for heaven. To become a Christian and just, God, if you can get rid of my anxiety, oh, then I can just have some peace and wait till heaven. Our role as believers and leaders in the church is not to become Christians, lead people to Christ and have them wait for heaven. It is to become a believer and bring heaven to earth. That's what we need to do. Out of the car and I went, and here's the thing. I went to therapy, seven days of therapy. I identified my spider, I located my spider, and I cornered my spider. But I wanna tell you something. As much as I believe in therapy and counselors, you can identify, locate, and corner it, but you can never kill your spider without the resurrection of Jesus Christ and the power of the cross in your life. It's it. It's how you do it. And so, what I wanna talk about for just a few minutes tonight is how can you guys kill the spider? Well, let's go ahead and define what a spider is. A spider is an agreement that you've made with a lie. Let me say that again. A spider is an agreement you've made with a lie. You see, this is the cause of our behaviors. This is what we have to get to. A cobweb is a medicator that brings false comfort to that lie. Let me say that again. A cobweb is a medicator that brings false comfort to the lie. Here in America, this is what sells. You, walk, you go to Barnes & Nobles, you walk down the self-help aisle, it's a cobweb aisle. That's what that is. God has not come here. God has not sent Jesus here so that you can handle your anxiety. He has come so you can be free. Find freedom. Find courage. Jesus didn't die on a cross so I could cope. He died on a cross so we could have freedom. And guess what? That freedom is available when you break the agreement that has you bound. Man, you're gonna think I'm crazy. But the other day I was in there and I saw you and I felt like the Lord told me to pray for you. But I didn't. And I let you walk out. And then you came walking in the top food cat. And oh my God, I had to chase you because I couldn't be disobedient twice. And I'm just looking at Marcus and Marcus's eyes are like this. And I got in my minivan and I left Marcus in that parking lot with that strange man. This is abundance. This is what happens when you kill your spider. When you're just cleaning cobwebs, it's that first picture because you're living in auto mode. And it's quick, and it's easy, and it gets the job done. But Jesus Christ has so much more for you. 